Jai Jinendra. Uh, today we will talk about the sixth characteristic of uh, soul, which is Sanyam. Uh, Uttam Sanyam is Sanyam with Samyak Darshan. Sanyam is a, a very important characteristic of the soul. What does Sanyam mean? Sanyam means focusing our thoughts or focusing on our own self, meaning the soul, and diverting from the subjects of five senses. What happens usually is that the subjects of five senses attract us, okay, and we get so amazed by them that we will get engrossed in it and then we lose our common sense sometimes and do get involved in uh, so many wrongdoing which will hurt us as a result, right? So, Sanyam is self-control, self-control over our senses. How do we get it? When we realize that this uh, pleasure or so-called pleasure that we get from all the subjects of five senses, meaning the subjects which the five senses know, okay? We get so much pleasure out of it, which is not a um, true pleasure or true happiness, but we think because of our wrong perception and our ignorance, we think that that is the true happiness. And we get involved in it. We will get amazed by it. And then what will happen is, it's like a strong uh, magnet. Okay? So it will attract us towards it and it will make it very difficult to go away from it. Hmm? What are the subjects of uh, five senses? Like we want to see things. Okay, and those things can be good or bad. We want to hear things. Those also can be good and bad also. We want to smell something good. And for that also we can commit a lot of pub, right? All the fragrances and everything, which is the process, how it is made. Very dangerous is the taste. We get uh, um, involved in such activity, meaning activities that we don't think what should we eat and what we should not eat, right? When that happens, then we just lose our common sense. And we just don't think about the consequences. And uh, we will eat whatever we feel like eating without thinking that what is the process of uh, preparing that particular thing, how much uh, hinsa is involved in it, and uh, whether it is uh, suitable to eat or not. We just lose all that common sense and we just get indulged in it. We, all the five sense subjects of five senses is the indulgence in those subjects without thinking. Without thinking of whether it is right or wrong. Hmm? Now that is uh, our weakness. We want to win over that weakness. And to win over that weakness, we have to know the fact. What is the fact? The fact is that whatever uh, so-called happiness we consider as a happiness is not the true happiness. First, it doesn't, it's not permanent, right? Like uh, you want to eat something and uh, you, uh, you will go out of your way, say uh, you will go out of, your, out of your way to prepare it and make it and, and then, then you will eat it. Right? And then you will think that, oh, I'm so happy that I got to eat this. But within an hour or two hours, you're hungry again. And another uh, uh, wish or another desire of eating something else comes up. Meaning you were satisfied temporarily. You were not satisfied permanently. Now here in the selection uh, parva, we have to learn um, how we can be satisfied permanently and these subjects of five senses are never going to satisfy anyone okay because that's how it is 
you hear something, you are happy at that time. Then again, after a certain time, you want to hear something else. You smell something and then you are tired of it, then you want something different. It's like the desires keeps popping up and you try to calm down one desire, then another one pops up. You calm down that and another one pops up. There's no end. There's no end to it. This process of calming down our desire, fulfill our desire, goes on and on and on and on. And it's like never ending thing because desires are never ending. So then what is the solution of it? The solution is to win over it. Okay. Whenever you have a desire, then you try to control it. Okay. And that's how you can control your senses. Another thing is to get rid of desire. Now, when we try to control our senses, we can do it, okay? It, it depends on how strong our willpower is. So we can do it for limited time. Then again, the desire pops up, okay? And again, we can, we'll start getting indulged into it, into those subjects, mm -hmm. right? So we want to get the permanent solution. All our tip thinkers and, and those who attend uh, uh, Kaval Gyan and Moksha have done this. And they have shown us the path, how to do it. Okay, so this is the way to do it. What they have shown us is you know yourself. You know your own existence. You know who you are. Meaning we are the soul, right? And the soul, if the desire evolves in the soul, that's the impurity of the soul. The nature of the soul is to stay content. There should not be any desires. Because desires bring anxiety with it. And anxiety, wherever there is an anxiety, then um, misery is there. Because miser uh, misery is followed. Right after anxiety, you will feel miserable, right? You must have seen that how anxiety makes you miserable. Whenever you try to do something and you want to achieve something and you are so anxious and uh, you work so hard towards it and you, you forget about day or night and, and all the time you are working towards it and finally when you get it, okay, when you get that work done, how relaxed you feel and you feel that all that anxiety is gone, right, temporarily but it's gone. So think about that kind of an anxiety or any kind of an anxiety uh, gone away forever. Right? That's why, uh, that's what happens when the Sanyam takes over. Okay? Sanyam is our own nature, meaning to be content to control the uh, five senses, right? And man, of course. Uh, it, when one can do that, at that time, it has peace of mind. There are no desires. When there are no desires, there's no anxiety. Correct? So that's how we can win over that. Hmm? And they say in the in the scripture that Sanyam is like a precious jewel. Okay? Precious jewel. Um, you have to very carefully preserve it. Why? Because the thief of these five senses and mind are always around it. Okay? And they will try to steal it. Meaning, if you lose control over your desires or if you mm, get attracted towards these subjects of five senses, then you will get indulged into wrong things also, right? So, you, one has to be very careful. One has to always think whether um, whatever I'm going to do or whatever it is my desire, whether it is hitkari or ahitkari, meaning whether it's benefit. It, it's a beneficial to me or it's not beneficial to me, right? Whether it's going to help me or whether, whether it's going to hurt me. So selection, we can do it. And But if we give up, if we give up the, the to, to the desires of our all five senses and mind, then that's our weakness. That's not our strength, right? So that's our weakness and we need to win over that weakness. To win over that weakness, one has to have sanyam. Sanyam is the control. Control the desires. Now, how do we control? We cannot just control it by saying that control, control, okay. No, we cannot do it. We have to first understand the true nature of everything. We have to understand that the happiness that I think I'm getting from this 
fulfilling this desire is not the permanent happiness. It's not the true happiness. The true happiness is where there is no anxiety. Okay, And that happiness we can get when we stay within, when we are satisfied within ourselves, when we are satisfied within our own qualities. Right? That's what all the Tirthankars have done. Right? They had so many riches and so many um, uh, belongings, but they gave up everything. Why? Because they didn't value it at all. They knew that those things have no value. They are not giving me the happiness. What gives me the happiness is my own soul, myself. And uh, when I stay within myself, that's when I can find it because the happiness is in the soul. Right? Happiness is not in these things. Because those things are Pudgal, and Pudgal does not have that quality of Sukh or happiness. Soul has it. So whenever we need to find it, we have to go within, and then we can find it. And that happiness will be everlasting happiness. It will be permanent happiness. And that would be the true happiness. So Sanyam helps us achieve that. Okay? So that's it for the Sanyam. Uh, think about it and uh, we'll talk about uh, Tyag, Tyag Dharma next. Okay? Jai Jinendra.